Filming top-down shots or flat lay photography is actually pretty easy to do. All it takes is just good lighting and some creative thought to make your top-down shots stand out on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and wherever you post content. So for today's video, I'm gonna show you how to technically set up a top-down shot with gear and without gear. And then I'm gonna bring in my wife who's pretty good at flat lay photography through her Instagram, and she's gonna walk us through her creative thought process and how to make your shots stand out. Oh, and we're also gonna be using these dope backdrops from Replica Surfaces. <gasps> so cool. Okay, so let's talk about the setup. So the camera that we're gonna be using is the Sony a7 III with a 24 to 70 G Master lens. Why? Because it is a very good photography setup. What's holding this camera is a Manfrotto ball head, which is attached to a Matthews C stand right over here. And C stands are pretty useful for holding heavy objects like camera setups and lights and so on and so forth. In order to see what our products look like on camera, we're gonna hook up a monitor to the a7 III so that we can easily view what we're composing in the shot. As for lighting, we're gonna be using two sources of light, natural light, and the Aperture 120D. Now, a lot of the natural light is coming through the bay windows in our kitchen, but I didn't want to just rely on natural light. There could be a cloud passing by, the sun will be going down, and as we progress filming and taking photos of the products that we see, I wanted to have consistent light, which is why I've set up the Aperture 120D, 45 degree angle from where we are. Now, here's what our setup looks like with the light, and now here's what our setup looks like without the light. Pretty big difference. Okay, turn it on. He just popped in frame. <laughs> I thought you told me to be in it. This is funny because I'm explaining you weren't there and then all of a sudden you're here. It's just funny. So that is the whole technical setup for what we're doing right now. But not to worry if you don't have any of this stuff. We're going to be doing the same exact thing except we'll be using natural light. So the backdrops that we're about to use are from a company called Replica Surfaces. And essentially they are hyper-realistic photography backdrops that make your photos and videos really stand out. They've got tons of backdrops to choose from and they've sent some of their products for us to play with. So thanks for that. But let's go ahead and continue with the video. Okay, babe, take it away. What do we got? Okay, so today I am just trying to get a nice flat lay of some of my favorite summer products. And we've got things like essential oils here, face scrub, um, sunscreen, lotion. So again, lots of textures to play with. I have no method to my madness. I just kind of like to lay things out play with it until it looks right to me. And I could change it like 20 times, but I get there in the end. And this is awesome. I've never <laughs> used this before. I'm usually there with my iPhone. Um, but this is amazing having the camera looking down and being able to look into this monitor here so I can see what's in front of me and I can play around um, and line it up. Usually I'm like just take, like standing with my phone over taking some photos to see what it looks like. But this is brilliant because I get to actually see what it looks like before taking the shot. So you're welcome. I will be using this more often. <laughs> so I've noticed that it's not, you're not just focusing on the product, which I probably wouldn't do, but you've added like lavender, you've added lime and you've added flowers. Why? Uh, for this one, I, I like the extra detail just to make it look pretty because they smell so good. I wanted to kind of tell through the picture how good it smells. So the zestiness of the lime from the lime essential oil, the lavender here in the lavender and aloe vera deodorant, the idea of it all just smelling really good and just adding that life to it. I feel like when you're just looking at products, um, they can be a bit flat. Um, but when you see things like the, the, um, the oil and the, the limes and everything, it just gets your senses going because you can imagine the feel, the smell. And so I just really love adding in little extras. It doesn't always work. Sometimes I kind of go a bit overkill and have to take them all out again and figure out what is right. And I don't know if this is perfect, but yeah, I like adding in those extra elements just to communicate what you can't smell by looking at a picture. Uh, another note, if you are using some light source and it is causing a lot of shadow, uh, there is a way to counteract that shadow by adding a bounce card. So you're just going to use one of these puppies. You use the, the back of these guys. And uh, if you bounce the light, you can see that it softens the shadows just a little oh, bit. Wow, you see that? That's so cool. Kind of makes a pop. So here's yeah. what it is before. Oh my gosh, that makes such a difference. And then. Wow, that's great. Oh, I love it. You make a good team. 
Okay, so this is how you do it professionally with a professional light, an awesome camera, C-stand, monitor. But if you don't have any of that stuff, we're gonna show you how to do it by just using your hands and natural light. Okay, so this is the Shiplap replica surfaces. Very cool. Okay, so my wife's gonna be setting all this up from scratch and our main key light is coming through our windows using obviously the sun. And so we'll be using this whole area to light up our scene. And so go ahead and walk us through here. I'm gonna film with this camera as well, but I want you to walk us through your thought process. So um, for this one, I'm trying to show like what you would take maybe to the beach or to the pool um, and I really like the shiplap one because it has a kind of beachy feel to it. So I chose the shiplap one for that and it looks really realistic. Every photo I've taken of it just comes out, it looks just like it's a wooden floor. Again, my crazy method, which has no rhyme or reason, I just kind of place things until I feel happy with them. So sometimes I'll just grab random objects from around the house just to give them a try, see if they fit. I don't know if that one will actually go. Um, but I just kind of play around until it looks, I usually have to take a photo to give it a try, just make sure the lighting is good. And because I usually just use my phone for these kind of pictures and they work really well, I then will just hold it over and see how things look in the shot and decide if I even like this layout, <laughs> which sometimes I don't. So I'll take a picture and then I'll just have a look, see how I like it. Ooh, that looks good. Nice. And this is kind of my practice run. And then once I've done one, I might have more of a play around, maybe add in a towel. I'm gonna go get a towel. Oh, why? Because it's like a beach shot. Ah. I just always have a go, I try things, and if it works, it's cool, if it doesn't work, and I think that is it. Yeah? See, just having that little extra detail, like that, I just needed, or I just wanted that little something extra. Oh, there's a towel, that is really cool. Just in the edges. <laughs> this is what it looks like in real life, IRL. But then when you would look at this, completely different. Oh, yeah. But the detail of the, the slats in the wood, it's so realistic. This one is just one of my absolute favorite backdrops for flat lanes. It, it works looks really nice. Really good. So that is how you take top-down photography, even if you don't have all that fancy gear. If you just have a phone and natural light and something cool like replica surfaces, flat lay backdrops, then you're good to go. I've actually been using replica surfaces on several of my YouTube thumbnails lately, and I loved how they all turned out. And on some of my thumbnails, it looks like I'm shooting against a textured wall, when in reality, it's just two backdrops anchored together. They have these anchors that you can actually connect two backdrops together to form a wall and a floor. And now you have the option to shoot a freestanding shot with a textured floor and a textured wall. So cool. Well, big thanks to Replica Surfaces for sending the backdrops over. If you wanna check them out, link will be in the description below. They've got some pretty cool new products coming out this summer, so definitely stay tuned for that. If you wanna follow my wife's Instagram, link will be below. And if you wanna check out more videos to help elevate your storytelling, then subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified of upcoming videos. Also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I get lonely, not really. But I am out of here, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, this is where I say bye where I go up and I go bye and I cover up the camera. Oh, okay. I think you should. Do you want me to do it? Uh-huh. Okay, bye. Oh, I can't reach. <laughs> to be close to the camera. How, do I have to climb over the table? No, you don't have, you know what? Okay, bye.